totally starting to bottle pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's leaking, bro. Hey folks, that fix it guy here. And today I was able to help my friend McKay replace a leaking kitchen faucet. So come along. Let's get to fixing. So I came over to our friend's house to check out his leaky faucet. He was looking to replace this and you can see, I mean, the seals are definitely shot. He's got a leak there, a leak there. Come over here, this whole thing is leaking. Um, it is an older price fister and he is going to put a new one in today. And so I'm just gonna kind of help and hang out and walk him through it and film it. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is come down and shut the water off, right? This hot side valve, we're actually gonna put a dual stop in there at some point. That way, if you ever have to shut your dishwasher off, you don't have to shut your hot water off as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna disconnect the supply lines. You are gonna get some water, right? So just make sure you have something down there. Yeah, grab some kind of mat or something, right? You don't wanna put your back on this right here. That's gonna like not be comfortable at all. So it actually has this nice foam floor mat that works really well there. So now we're gonna have to get this ball off right here. And you're gonna have to go right up there to that green piece. And you're going to take this, this is an older style that you spread those apart. And then it just allows you to pull that right down off of there. Okay, That's it. sweet. So now to take this ball off of this, you actually have to remove this plastic piece. You've got a good grip. You might be able to just grab. Yeah, there you go. And uh, just spins right out. You're going to get some water there too. Okay. Woo. Bath time. Coming. There we go. At least it's clean water, right? It's not sweet water. Ah. How are you liking this, dude? Do you yeah. like plumbing training 101? This is awesome. Cool. I hope everybody else out there likes it too. We're trying something new here. Since I can't do anything, we're <laughs> recording other people working. All right, so to remove the faucet, Price Fister actually gives you this tool. If not, you could grab a basin wrench. I actually didn't bring one today, but I do have this awesome faucet tool that we're gonna try out. Why? Because it's brand new. I haven't even put it in my tool bucket yet, and I wanted McKay to try it out, right? It's essentially, it, man, it lets you do so many different things. I'll be reviewing this soon. I mean, really very cool by Rigid. And this is an updated model from the one I used to have. So I'm actually pretty excited about it. It's getting caught somewhere. I'm not it's, sure where. Yeah, it, it looks like it is getting a little caught up. Now. Is it not going up high enough? Ah. No. Nope. I wonder if it needs to be on the other side. Maybe I have it upside down. Try it out. Yeah, try yeah, it out. Let's see if it works. That makes sense. See how we get it in there? I don't know. Okay, so there's that, there's that. That gives me the length I need. Okay, that gives him the length, but it actually is not, this is not gonna work for this application, I don't think, dude. Like uh, looking at it because that other side, I think was the side that was gonna work and I think it's too shallow. Yeah. All right, well, guess what? We tried. Good thing, we got, we got the old Price Fister option. This I know works for sure because it's a Price Fister faucet. So it always is handy when they give you something like this. Yeah. Yep, everything is gonna go through that. Okay. Okay, so that is now up on there. And now we're probably gonna want a screwdriver because unless you can muscle that <laughs> off. You're doing if something. you can hold that, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Okay, so sometimes you gotta improvise, folks. My basin wrench got stolen. We're trying out a couple different things. I haven't bought a new one yet. And here's what we're gonna do. He's going to hold down here and I'm gonna turn the faucet. So okay. you turn you turn left, I'll turn left. Okay. All right? Perfect. Go. Got it. There we go. Yeah, awesome. Long winded nuts. Always watch out for your face with any of these things, right? Safety glasses, good idea. Okay, and now you're just able to remove the faucet. That's definitely been deteriorating for a little while. Now we get the holes all cleaned up. So the first thing I like to grab is the manufacturer specifications. I like to know what they say they want you to install it with, right? Some say they want silicone. Some say they don't want anything. So they have the required tools, the required helpful tools. Doesn't say anything about silicone when you install. Um, yeah, I think we're rocking and rolling. Two things right now. We need this little mounting plate for a single hole faucet. And then your faucet's gonna mount on top of that. And we're gonna 
It's actually gonna go by really fast at this point. As a result of standard product testing procedures, there may be a little bit of water in your faucet. That means that every faucet is actually, water's ran through it before you get it. They wanna make sure it works. That's awesome. The dishes are for live effect, people. This is real life, all right? Dishes don't always get done when that's, there's no dishwasher that's, or sink. <laughs> Okay, so and that's gonna turn, it'll go on there just a certain way. There you go. Yep, okay. And the nice thing about this is, you sometimes wanna have two people, right? So this works out very well that I can hold this, he can get the bottom started, and you're gonna get the faucet exactly where you need it. This piece right here is gonna come off for the ball. This is similar to the one that we had to pull those two pieces apart, except now they just have one little push button, which is awesome. So you can remove that, Remember that's a little yep. setup. You'll be able to put the ball in after we hook the faucet up. Okay. So first washer in the nut. Got that started. I'm gonna go hold your faucet in place. Okay. See how much that's moving around right now. I mean, it's moving around like crazy. So get that centered right there in the hole and I can just hold this in place while he's screwing it down. Get that tool up on there and now I'm gonna hold again. Okay, so the cold at this point would be all the way over here and the hot's gonna be somewhere in the middle of the faucet. We don't want that. So what you wanna do is you wanna just get that to where it is going 45 to 45, and then we wanna just hold the faucet down. And now he, McKay can tighten it up. Yeah, now you wanna grab a little screwdriver and give yourself just a little bit more of a turn to really snug it down. All right, ready? Go ahead. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the weight on. So you grab that center hose, that connects the spout, put the weight on. Before we put this piece on, we're actually gonna take a little bit of the super lube and just a little dab of that right around that O-ring, not too much, and just get that lubed up. There was a little bit on there, so you could just, yeah, barely touch it on there, dude. There you go. And then rub that in and it's gonna be good. And that'll keep that O-ring lubed up, making sure that it doesn't crack or get old or anything, and you're gonna get any leak from there, right? Anytime you get a chance to put some silicone grease or something on, an O-ring, do it, right? Because it's only gonna make it last longer. Now we'll just reattach that. Clips right up in place, you hear That's that? It. You can hear the clip, you know it's good, and there it is. Now, we just need to separate our- Hot and cold. Separate our hot and cold, yep. With this, I was explaining to McKay that you just kind of want to make a loop and get it stuffed back up underneath there, and then check that out. Now you can come straight down on top of that, and it's out of your way. Yeah, you can kind of see how it's rolling, right? Yeah. That's it. It uh, And it just works very well that way. Out of the way, don't have to worry about it. Yep, and now when you tighten this down, go to hand tight, and then no more than a full turn, usually. And then now, we're gonna put the soap dispenser on first because there's a soap dispenser on the side, and we wanna make sure that this cold side's not gonna get all tangled up. Oh, gotcha. And so the soap dispenser got a little gasket in it and it really just sits down in there and then screws on to the bottom. Oh, uh, here's another thing. Help it a little easier get that out of the way. Okay, so that's on there. Is that pretty tight? Pretty tight. Okay, so now you can take this faucet tool and I'm pretty sure that you could use that. And, that, and so you can see that just tightens right down on there and good to go. You might have to twist it the other way. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep. You got this. There you go. Perfect. Plug that bad boy right in now. But you see that way that water line runs? At some point, we're gonna put a dual valve in there and we're gonna actually be allowed to move this into a different direction and it's just gonna be a lot better. I think that that running across there, I mean, it gets it out of the way, but it can be a little bit better than where it's at right now. Just pops back down in there, boom, soap dispenser. There you go. Faucet. If we had the drain in, we'd be ready to turn it on. Crank your water on. No leaks. Perfect. There you go. Turn this on. Okay, quarter turn on that side, which is awesome. Good. Cool. And now we'll just go right here. Oh, it works. Hello. 
leaks. Okay. And we've got no leaks going on down here. Awesome. That's good to go. He's going to have to fill and test the drain a couple times, but I got to get out of here because my wife's got to go to a baby shower. Thanks for letting me help you out today, McKay. Totally glad you could come. All right. Good times. Thanks. Yep. All right, folks. McKay did an awesome job, right? That faucet was leaking from everywhere. It's kind of crazy. I think every seal was completely blown out. But got it hooked up. Got a new Price Fister Cantera put in. Worked out really nice. And I think it looks pretty good. Right, everything worked well. We're gonna have to do a dual stop and maybe a basket strainer in his kitchen sink at one point, but for now it's back up and running. I really hope you folks enjoyed this format. Um, it, me showing someone else doing the work while walking them through it, I liked it. I thought it was a good look at kind of what YouTube does for you. Gives you a hand of looking through this, but you guys will have to let me know what you think. I really hope the videos are helping. I hope everybody enjoyed it and I hope everybody's doing well. Thank you very much, and we'll see you again real soon.